Hello everyone. So today we are going to do lead good bi-weekly question. And the first question for the bi-weekly is that minimum recolor to get key consecutive black blocks. So in this question we are given with the zero index string blocks of length n where block of i is, is either w or it's t. So here this represent colors of the i block. The corrected w and b denotes the color white and black respectively. And we are also given an integer k which is the desired number of consecutive black blocks. So in this, in one operation you can recolor a white block such that it becomes a black block. So here we are required to return minimum number of operation needed such that there is at least one occurrence of k uh, one occurrence of k consecutive black blocks. So the thing is that in this all the white blocks and black blocks are being given to us and we are required to return the minimum operation which we are required to do so that all the minimum k set of black blocks are available in our string. So this is in this first example we can see that w is there then uh, 2 times b is there and then three times, uh, two times W is there, and then two times B is there, right? So here, if you can see that this whole block means this whole uh, first one, this could easily become seven black box, right? So that's why we are required to just flip the W, which is being given here, three times, and then we will be easily able to get our seven black blocks. So. That's the thing which we are required to do in this particular question. After that, we will be easily able to get all our black blocks, means all the, uh, a particular set of black blocks. So in this question, just first think about that how we can do. We are here required to uh, keep a count of black blocks and keep a count of white blocks, right? And then we are required to check that is it equals to K or not, right? If at the starting only we got a particular block which is equals to k, right? A set of black blocks which are equals to k, then we will directly return our answer as zero. But if that is not the scenario, then we are required to perform some operations that is flipping of these blocks, right? And for flipping of those blocks, we will be increasing a particular counter so that we could get that if that particular counter and the number of uh, black blocks which are already there. If we equate to k and get to our answer, then we are good to go. So this is the thing which we are required to do in this particular question. So let me show you the code that how we are required to do this code. So here comes the part that first we would be at the starting only declare, um, assigning int max to our count so that whenever we do the minimum operation, we are easily able to get our answer. So here we will be maintaining two loops. A uh, first loop would be directly going till the blocks dot size minus k so that there is no runtime error because we are required to get the k blocks as we are doing in this particular right and the j would be starting from i and it will be going till i plus k because i is a variable part here so that's why we are and this particular block would be of k size so that's why we are keeping it i plus k now comes the part here c would be at the starting always zero and this c is basically the count of all those white blocks which we are required to flip so that it could become into a black box. So here you can see that if our block of J is equal equals to, is not equals to B, right? That is it is equal equals to Y. Then we will be directly uh, increasing our C count. That is the count for the white blocks. And then when this particular block uh, becomes, means when K size block is completed, then we will be coming out and we'll check that what is the minimum. Either count is minimum or C is minimum. That is the thing which we will be checking here. And then at the end, we will be returning our count. So this is the thing which we are required to in, do in this particular question. And then easily we will be able to get our answer. So here is a one uh, that show you the dry run of this particular code. Then we can take this particular example itself. And here, uh, we are required to get for the k also, right? Okay, is the thing which we are required to consider here. So here's the thing. So you can see that first there is w, right? So our so at the starting itself, 
so at the starting itself we would be having as c equal as uh, equals to 1 right and then we get this d right so c won't be increment and again d so again there would be an increment but till now k is basically less than 7 only so it will move ahead and then after that c becomes 2 then after that c becomes 3 because we got consecutive bytes right so at this particular moment we are still getting and then we will check that again d is there then again d is there but at this particular moment we figure out that we have concluded from this particular loop right so that's why we will come to this particular position earlier counts answer was int max right now its answer would be minimum of count and rc right so that's why this particular moment our count will exactly become equals to 3 which is the desired answer for this particular when there are some number of blocks which are required to be flipped if other way round is there then we already got the desired block uh, like in this particular example here we can see that here already we are having the desired number of blocks right so see how we can do here so here the thing would be something like this so see uh, at the starting we are having w Uh, right and w is not required so here r c would become 1 and then b is there and r k is equal to 2 right so b is there so at this moment it will skip and we will also exit out this block and this moment our count would be updated to 1 so this is a thing which we would be doing here right but uh, it is updated to 1 just because of this fact earlier it was id max right now comes the next part now i i will start from this b right so when i will start from b then it would be skip then our c would again become as 1 right and then again it will exit out so our count will remain as 1 only then now our w will start from here so that's why our c would be equals to 1 right and then our next one is b right so when our next one is d so in that scenario uh, now 2 is also reached so again it will exit out so the count would be 1 right so now in the next uh, when we will be starting from this d right so at this particular moment there would be uh, now c would as at starting of every loop as c becomes 0 right so at this particular moment it won't enter this particular if condition right but it will exit out this loop when it reaches these two right so at this particular moment our count will become equals to 0 so that's why when it becomes equal to 0 so this is the minimum and again when it will be checking for next one when w is there then again one will come but it will check for the minimum only and whenever we got was 0 right so that's why this would be returned as our answer so yeah this is already accepted and this was all for this particular question if there is any doubt you would comment that down so now let us move to our second question in the second video thank you